I suspect, and I could be wrong, that for many of us, ignoring what's in front of us to be entertained by what's in the background of our daily lives is our daily habit. The married man who is blessed with a beautiful wife, but in the background of his life, there are fantasies, the other woman. As for marriage, I have made videos on that subject. Just Google Microdac videos and marriage. But this is about going beyond the obvious. The man was asked about his secret in being married for 40 years. It's simple, he said. I live in her world and then I live in my world where only I reside. A man that I know personally goes fishing every chance he gets. That's his way of avoiding the obvious. The woman who drinks a lot, that's her way of avoiding the obvious. She escapes via alcohol. I suspect that a lot more people do that than you would imagine. The obvious is in front of our eyes, in sharp focus, but it is the background that we find our entertainment. A shaman wrote that we should spend more time looking at our subconscious because that's what our dreams are all about. She went on to say that in her opinion, the mind cannot be deceived. The mind processes everything as being real. Her argument is that when we sleep, the obvious goes away and the subconscious using symbols, are awake and they are educational. For example, what does it mean when we're falling? What does it mean when we're lost? What does it mean when we are in water? Indeed, the obvious is suppressed and the subconscious, in using symbols, come alive when we sleep. Be honest, weren't you more interested in what was going on in the background of this video? Really?